on this wet. Right. Okay, so <laughs> good evening. Um, lovely evening, so that's probably why it's a bit quieter tonight. And I can't blame him for going out and getting in the sun, but we've got plenty of time, haven't we? We've got till about 10 ish now, and we get to dark, it's now it's nine, so we can always go out afterwards. So for tonight, I've planned that we'll use um, the ball, and if you have any weights, we can use the weights at some point as well. The, the ones I've got tonight are the are slightly heavier, I've got 1.5 kilograms, but you could use um, a 0.5. The pink ones, uh, if you've got the ones that I use, um, or the purple, which is one kilogram. So any of those, or you could go slightly heavier, but I wouldn't recommend it too much, but we're not doing an awful lot with that, but definitely with the ball, we will use the ball quite a bit tonight. Um, okay, so someone else, the bomb's coming in. Okay, lovely. So that's it really, I think that's all we'll use tonight. So. Let's get started with some sort of warm up. So let's warm up the with the shoulders first. So we're just going to roll the shoulders and lift. So we squeeze them up. And then what we'll do is we'll start to kind of bring the elbows, the arms in. And then we're going to sort of bring or create a circle. That's it. And then if we take the, the legs out to um, sort of more like a plie position, then we can just add in the, the bend of the knees and a stretch in the arms. Excellent. <laughs> and then we'll take the arms in the other direction. Okay, and then bring those arms down, bring the feet in, roll all the shoulders again. And then we'll take the arms out in front of us and squeeze those shoulders forwards and back. So, as I don't have, as I've got this special top on, you can, what we're trying to do is bring those shoulders, rather than lifting them, we want to bring them forwards and then we'll bring them in together towards each other. You should be able to see that in my shoulder blades and then bring the arms down then what we do is we'll just take one arm forward and the other one back that's it <laughs> standing nice and tall stretching up this is your last one okay bring the arms down next thing is we'll do neck actually we'll do neck next so what we'll do actually first of all for today we normally do this last we're going to take the head over and just a little encouragement to get the stretch up the side of your neck and then release just gently and then just take it over to the other side try and relax the option opposite shoulder and under the yeah so and then we'll take the hands behind and we're just going to encourage the the head and the neck back into your into the palms of your hands just little squeezes and releases good that should feel nice it should feel like you can often feel a bit of heat coming into that area I would say well it does it does here <laughs> um, and then let's just take the head over to one side relax the shoulders then release gently and over to the other side again it's very easy to kind of lift the shoulders up Let's just release them and bring the head in. Okay, good. 
Next thing, we'll just do some circles of the, the leg. So we're going to work into our glute area. So we're doing a little circle. Let's just see if you can hold a nice strong position, torso nice and strong, lifting in that area. <laughs> and then change direction. Balance is not so good. <laughs> Just trying to keep the body nice and strong. Just let the leg do the work and the hips and the glutes. Okay, and then just walk it out slightly and change over to the other side, standing tall. And change direction. Last one, good, and then just lifting the heels, taking the elbows back, yeah, okay, and then just, so just keep lifting the heels, then bring both heels down, we're going to lift the toes and just stretch the toes. and relax them. Then we're going to lift the heels off and take the arms up at the same time, stretching calves <laughs> and down again. We'll do that one more time. And down, and again, just lifting the toes and spreading the toes. Not something that we normally do, but it's nice to work on your toes. It's very important. <laughs> And then just relax, that's it. Okay. Uh, next thing, let's do some let's do some squats. So I'm putting my heels on the edge of the mat just to raise the heels slightly, just helps with um, tight calves. And just squeeze those knees out and we'll come down and release. So we're gonna push that bottom behind. So really think about technique. I mean normally everybody's pretty good now. And really push that bottom behind. Let's add in some heel lifts. So as we come up, we heel lift and back down and then down to your squat. Heel lift. So we're getting a good stretch into your calves as well. Last one. And just shake the legs out. And then we're going to just bring the elbows in to the waist. And we're going to squeeze and release. So what we're trying to do here is squeeze the shoulders towards each other and then release them. That's it. And just adding a couple of pulses, so squeeze, squeeze, release and back. Is everything cracking? <laughs> Last one. Crack it into the shoulder blades and then roll the shoulders, so roll right up, back and release. Then we'll just take the feet wide and we're just going to stretch over from each side just really feel that in your inner thigh area looking forwards last one coming up now and then come up into standing position okay Let's just uh, just circle the ankle, then change direction and change over to the other side and change direction 
and then we'll just prepare your mat to wherever you want to be and we'll come down so we're coming down tonight into our crook position Bring that down So you're bringing down the board and your weights if you have them. You bring a couple of big tins of beans or something for your weights. That would suffice. So just bring everything reasonably close. Definitely need the board in a minute, not so much the weights yet. Oh, we could use one, couldn't we, if we do? Yeah, just bring them in. So we're coming all the way down. That's it, okay. So let's start with your basic stretch first. So we're going to just maintain that neutral spine, chin slightly tucked. We're going to be stretching one arm and opposite leg. So if you want to use your weights at this point, these are a bit too heavy, I would say. But if you've got your 0.5s, one minute. Yeah, that's a little bit heavy for me, for this one. 0.5s or one is probably be better if you do have them. I've still got a few left. I think I've got about three 0.5s left. And maybe one of I'm not sure. Definitely some 0.5s and pink ones. Okay, and then just bring yourself back to crook position. And then we'll do rib cage closure. So if you want to, you could use one weight and take it up. Now just making sure the back stays imprinted and then take the arms all the way back or to wherever you feel comfortable depending on the weight. Chin slightly tucked. Can you feel that stretch around the rib cage area? We'll just do our last one. And then once you've got your arms down, um, the weight, if you have it, goes just to the side. And then we're going to use the ball. What we're going to do is just take the ball under your feet and we're just going to stretch away and then slowly bring it back in. So right up to your tiptoes and then stretch slowly away. So all the time your back is slightly imprinted so you should be feeling it here. Breathe out as you stretch away, breathe it in to your return. Like you to just do one more. And then once you bring it back, we'll bring the ball into in between our thighs. So we're going to squeeze into that ball to begin with. So let's just start with a gentle squeeze and release. And squeeze, release. So we'll start with that. That's waking up your inner thigh area. <laughs> so we're just doing a squeeze release at the moment. So what we're trying to do now is we're trying a pulse. So we're going a little bit more quickly, but it's a smaller move. 
smaller range of mode movement. And then just release off any effect. So keep that ball in between the inner thighs so if you feel like something's working there. And just keep that slight pressure on the ball. And then what we'll do is we'll utilize the glutes and we'll just lift your bottom and your hips working the glute area. And then you'll roll back down. So you can remove the block from under your head if that's more comfortable. Often it's more comfortable for your neck. So squeeze and lift. And back down through the vertebrae. It's just quite a nice warm up for the for the vertebrae. And then one more squeeze and lift. Hold that position. And we're going to just lift either one heel at a time or both heels. We could do a bit of both actually. If you can get the coordination in, could do one and the other, and then both. So we're keeping maintaining that height in the hips. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Last one. And then just gently roll back down through the vertebrae. It's a good thing, okay reposition slightly if you need to. So if you want we can have a go at lifting the legs one leg at a time. <laughs> We're going to come up or we can just do stick to your heel lifts. So if you're doing leg lifts have a go now. Just see if you can keep, keep um, stable on the other leg. Raise the foot down, get the stability and then lift. And lower. Okay, and then rolling back down for everybody. And then just bring the knees into the chest for a second. Keep the ball there. And then we're just going to lift the legs. We've got a little bit of a squeeze into the ball. Arms come right out to the side. Now pull in through the abdominals. We're just going to do a small so for some people that you might need to just do a very small move or if you find that's too much for you just bring the feet down back to the floor just go carefully and then if you want everybody come back down keep the squeeze in the knee in the bowl We've got all the, the feet now on the floor and just have another go. Keep that squeeze all the way into the middle and all the way over to the other side. Back into the middle. So we'll just do one more on each side, keeping the squeeze into the ball. bringing it into the middle and releasing. Okay, just put the ball to the side for a second. And we're going to lift both knees up into your tabletop position. So basic toe taps to begin with. We're going to do a variation in a while. You want you can actually come up and do a little lift of the head if you'd if like to today. I'm just going to support the neck and we're going to breathe out as we tap, breathe in to return. So it actually helps you keep the back into get back imprinted. Last one. Bring the head down, bring the knees just into the chest. Okay, 
Okay, so the next exercise, we're going to bring the feet down to the floor and we're going to take the ball under the feet and have a go at our bridge position on the ball. So keep those heels low and toes high. <laughs> and we're just going to squeeze and have to do a little lift and then lower back down. On the mat. It's all about the glutes working here, so just one more to go. And then feel free to take your feet off the ball if you need to bring the knees into the chest. Just for a slight stretch, you can do, and then bring one foot down at a time. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to do the toe taps, but with ball or with your hands against the, the thighs, the thigh. So for example, we're going to take one leg up with the ball against your thigh, not against your knee, against your thigh, bring the other leg up. Now just put some pressure on the ball and put some pressure against the ball and the other way <laughs> and we're going to just tap and come up so you can feel there's quite a lot of work going on in the abdominals just take it in your own time you can feel that a little bit in the shoulders as well because obviously you're trying to put a bit of pressure just be careful with the, how your back feels one more on this side. Bring the knees in for a second. And then just take yourself back into position, push against the other side and start to tap. Just one more. Bring the knees in. Just take the ball to the side. Brilliant. Okay, so that's that's that for now. So let's come up to seated position. However you want to. And we're going to do a little bit of side work now. Um, and we should have time to do some more side work later, but we're going to stick with lower body to begin with. So if you come down in this position, we don't need the weight at the moment, the weight will come later if we've got the time. Okay, so we're coming down. Oops, into my inner foot, inner foot. Okay, so <clears throat> straight leg, we're going to start with circle. And we're lifting under the waist. I know I always go on at you about this, but it does make a difference. And you should feel a bit more stable or have more hip stability. A nice large circle, slowly. And then we're going to change the direction. And then we'll bring the leg down. We're going to flex the foot this time, keep lengthening into the body. Take the uh, leg up to about hip height and we're going to lift and lower. So we've taken that leg back slightly and we point the foot down slightly as well. Just helps to target the side of the glutes. Think of it, you're scraping up the side of the wall behind you. And you can do this exercise like that against the wall <laughs> to ensure that you take it back far enough. Just two more. 
toe down. And then we're going to bring the knees up into our box position for clown. So your um, the fronts of your legs are going to be on the edge of your mat, hopefully, so you can come back on your mat. And the knees are together. And so we're going to start first, we're lifting at the waist as well. We're going to start just with opening, opening up completely and lowering. So when you open, you still want to keep the hips um, in place. We don't want them moving backwards. Okay, last one. And then we're going to do our knee to knee, toe to toe. So bring the knees together, lift, toes together. Last one. And just relax the legs down. So uh, now we will come on to our fronts. No, let's go on the other side first. <laughs> Don't we make the mistake I made last week? And then we'll come on to our fronts. So just stretch out with the arm. Get your hair out of the way and start with the circle. So we're lifting under the waist. Again, again. <laughs> nice and slow. Really stretch that leg away from you. And let's change direction. And then just bring that leg down. Now you're going to flex the foot, take it back slightly, and we're going to lift and lower. Foot's pointing down slightly as well. Last one now, and then just make a slight adjustment. So you can bring the you're going to bring knees up into your box position, and then when you're ready, with that little bit of lift in the waist, we're going to open and close. So just be careful because you're opening up completely that you're not lifting the hips. So just keep a check. Last one. And relax there for a second before the onslaught of knee to knee, toe to toe. It's not easy, is it? <laughs> Last one. And relax that leg down. Good. You can start the pack if you need to. Okay, then we're going to now come into prone position onto our front. And bring your ball over as well. So 
So we're starting off with our head, head down onto the block, forehead. And we're going to start with relaxing the shoulders. We're going to do a little lift under the, under the waist. We're going to bend one knee, lifting up under the waist as we lift and lower. So squeeze, hopefully the front of the thigh slightly off um, without it working into your back. Just want the glutes working. Just want that little lift in your in your waist. Okay, and now straighten that leg. In the same leg, we're going to lift and lower. So relax the shoulders, and as I can. Feel my intensity, so I'm sure the whole problem will be feeling that too. Last one. Now we're going to bend the other knee and squeeze, lift. So this is your better side, your easier side, or your worst side. <laughs> Straighten the leg, lift up the tummy and stretch and lift. See if you can sort of stretch the leg away first slightly and then lift. Last one. And then we can take our ball and we're going to take the ball out in front of us. We've got hands on the ball. Um, probably have that in there actually. And then you're going to lift up, just pulling, um, pulling the ball back, lifting up through the abdominals very strongly. Obviously, that, if that doesn't work for you, this is the arms out in front, just putting quite a lot of pressure into the lower back. Just go into your dark position with the arms down by your thighs. Okay, one more. Brilliant. And then what I'm going to get you to do is just, going to just come up into your shell position, shell stretch, with the arms out. And just bring those arms in front of you just to give you a good stretch into the lower back. And then we're going to take the stretch to the right side. And then back into the middle over to the left side then back into the middle and then we're coming to seated position and we're going to if you just get your if you've got your weights we're going to just put them on each side so we're going to do two exercises back on our sides again but it's both the upper body we're going to start with um, some rotator cuff work and then we'll do our open book so we're going to come back down sort of with the knees bent whatever feels comfortable and then with preferably with the two blocks and to start with you can do whatever you like with the free arm you can just have that ready for open book 
So you've got your hand down by the mat, your elbow stays into your waist, and you're just going to lift and lower. So squeeze into your shoulders. And the arm goes, top of the hand goes sort of up towards the ceiling. This is really for shoulder. That's it, just keeping that elbow in if you can. Yeah, so I, mainly it's looking really good. I've got a couple of people that got their hands sort of over here. So just make sure that your hand's in line with your elbow. So when you come up, you can really feel it in the back of the shoulder and the top of the shoulder. You can even do a couple of pulses if that's okay as well. We're only gonna do one more now. And what's nice is because that now feels quite sort of, quite worked and quite tense, you just take the, you can use, if you've got a smaller weight, so if you've got a, a 0.5 or a 1, if you'd like, you can use this for open book. We're going to keep stick to the open book just for the, the chest tonight. We're not going to let the back go all the way back tonight. And we're just going to take that arm behind, and that's just a nice stretch for the shoulder and for your chest. And we do need to stretch the chest to help alleviate this forward head posture because it's the chest muscles that tend to get quite tight when um, our head's in a more forward position as you can imagine all the muscles are sort of tensing up in the front we just do two more of the open book Okay, so we've done that side, let's come up and if you just take yourself onto the other side, I'll come over this way, so you'll get started with the rotator cuff work first. Okay, <laughs> so squeezing into the waist with your elbow, just keeping that hand in line with your elbow. And just think about the squeeze coming from the shoulder blades, the shoulder blade, as you take that arm back, think of the squeeze coming from here. Last one. And again, you can use that weight if you want to, if you've got a lighter weight than me. And then when you're ready, into your open book. So keep the chin slightly tucked. That just feels so lovely and stretchy. <laughs> For that first one, after you've put that tension into the rotator cuff exercise. It feels like it must really release it. Okay, last one now coming up. Okay. 
okay brilliant and then we're just going to come on to our uh, let's come on to our front just to onto our elbows And then we're going to start off just with the lift, just lifting your tummy. Just a couple of those, waking up the lower abdominal muscles, or the deeper. <laughs> and then <clears throat> when you're ready, we'll just start with our half plank. So we're going to lift, lift the hips and then release back down. Always think about squeezing up through the shoulders. So I'm going to let you decide how long you want to hold on, hold it for. Maybe ten seconds, maybe twenty. We're not going too mad tonight. And this will be your last one. going to just take the, the hands out to the side with the elbows behind and just lift, let's lift the whole body, come down into our shelf stretch and then we're going to take it back. So we're just going to do three of these reverse push-ups. Oh, that's me really clicking. Here comes my uh, my little madam, hello. I've had to put a um, collar on her today because she's catching things and I'm hoping that it will put, put her off or put the, um, make the birds help them get away faster. Um, but she wasn't very impressed this morning when I put it on. <laughs> and then once you've finished those reverse push-ups, I'll get you to come up just into a, a bit of a shell stretch. And I'll just turn around so I can see you. Into your shell stretch. And come up. And then what we'll do, um, we're going to finish off on our backs, but before that, let's come up into a full plank. But what we're going to do is we're going to go up, start in our all fours position and then come up into a full plank and back down again. So for those of you that like to do a full plank anyway, you can come up and you can come up into your plank and you can have a go at touching your chest if you want to or just coming across. Trying to keep your hips as stable as possible. Haven't done this for a while. <laughs> or you can just keep with the knees down and then coming back up again. Do a bit of both, couldn't you? We'll just do a couple more. <laughs> Felt that. Yeah, it's good though, it's a good feeling, but. <laughs> and then just come back onto um, just into seated position. If you want, you can just stretch the chest and just take the arms behind, sort of clasp the fingers in, entwined. Just have a stretch. And then stretch forward, so you're sort of working into the back. So we're going to come onto our backs now. And relax the shoulders. That's good. Okay. So we're going to I'll take those down. <laughs> we're going to come down onto our backs. And 
I'm going to take the arms up towards the ceiling. I'm going to do a little bit of dead bug. So with our feet on the flat on the floor to begin, we're going to stretch away. So you could use your weights again here if you'd like to. You could have one on each hand. They're quite light and just work the shoulders a little bit more deeply if that works for you. I want you to always ensure that you hold that stretch for a second or two, don't come back straight away. Because as we when we go up into tabletop position, this is when you're going to really <coughs> utilise the abdominals in that stretch. So after this next one, let's bring the legs up into tabletop now. So we're going to imprint the back into your mat. And then when you're ready, stretch, stretch and a slight hold. <laughs> Can't talk when I hold. How are you doing? Keep going with that. Keep a couple more. That's it. And then when you're ready, just bring the knees into the chest. And then when you're ready, stretch one leg. And we're going to go into our single leg stretch. Coming up to lift it if that works for you. <clears throat> then bring the knees into the chest. And straight out into double leg stretch. Again, lift it if that works for you. If not, stay down. <clears throat> and as you stretch away, just ensure the back staying down towards the floor, imprinted. Nice breath out as you stretch away. Okay, last one, bring the knees into the chest, bring the left foot down and bring the right foot over the left thigh and we draw that leg in for our glute stretch. And release. Change over to the other side. Draw that leg out and squeeze. And release. And we just work on our hip rolls. So either with the lifted legs, knees are bent, or bring the feet down to the floor. And you can sort of like take, if you're on the floor, you can take the head to the opposite side of the knees. You get a nice stretch into the neck as well. Just one more on each side. And then bring the knees back up into the middle. And then we're just going to stretch the legs away. Just 
take the arms over your head and then just lift the back into your nice full body stretch. And bring the back arms back over, just bring the knees into your chest. And then when you're ready, rolling up into seated position. And we'll do a couple of squeezes for the shoulders. So we're going to squeeze up and then we're just going to let them release. That's a lovely release. And then another tense and squeeze and release and then let's just take the head from one side re relax the shoulders take it to the other side and back into the middle brilliant okay so let's just take our last two breaths of the um session in, in a sense <laughs> last two pilates breaths so let's take a breath in and out and in again, and out. Wonderful. Thank you very much. And see some of you on Thursday, if not next Tuesday. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.